off, it's Jackie. And she's going to be facing Gazelle. Over to John Anderson. Contender! is a 60 second aerial game of hide and seek if jackie doesn't get caught she scores 10 points if she stays on for 40 seconds she collects five south african gladiator gazelle comes from johannesburg she's halfway around the globe right now change direction and hot on jackie's trail jackie into the swing of the thing very quickly and needs to keep the blue flag on her back and out of gazelle's grasp sister pauline and boyfriend john getting jackie instructions get away from gazelle seems to be the best advice at the moment gazelle in blue living up to her name with that speed Gearing up for the flag snatch. Jackie needs to keep the flag flying for the UK. Gazelle slipping on a ball and letting Jackie off the hook. Jackie's collected five points for the United Kingdom. Can she hang on and make it ten? Gazelle's got a grip again. Now she's back on the move. Can Jackie take the ten? The time up is so close, but so is Gazelle. Jackie fighting the power of the pendulum. Gazelle's on her back, just out of reach. Oh, second bite, and she's got her. Jackie's mum, Rona, holding her teeth in. The Gazelle gets it done, like us. The Tyndall tribe were hoping for ten. Well, Jackie keeps Gazelle at arm's length, but Gazelle does a bit of range finding, reckons she can crack it, and at the second attempt secures the prize. Jackie, of course it started off a little bit differently. You were actually chasing her to start with, <laughs> probably without knowing it. I just had big screams from the crowd going, ah! and I was like, oh God. So I started flying the other way. It's like panicking. <laughs> just a little bit, and then she got very, very close indeed. Yeah, well, I knew she wasn't as big as the best of the gladiators, and I felt I could hold it if I went underneath. And lucky for me it worked. <laughs> well, certainly you were on there for 52 seconds, so you picked up five points. <laughs> a great performance by you as well. Very fast, straight in there. Got her. Eventually, well done. Let's hear it for Gazelle and for Jackie. Well done. <laughs> Next up on the pendulum, it's Charmaine. And she's going to be facing Lightning. The bombshell, one of our great national assets. We've got lightning figured like this, height 170 and weight 57 kilos. Compared with Charmaine, it seems the South African contender is a couple of centimetres shorter and a kilo heavier, as her supporters are happy to point out. The legend of lightning has already made its way down to South Africa, so Charmaine's aware of what she's up against, the powerhouse in pink. And already Charmaine under pressure from lightning. You may remember at the beginning of the 97 domestic season, British gladiators producer Ken Warwick lambasted the squad for their lacklustre international showing against Australia in the last Ashes series. And lightning's determined to make up for it here, swarming all over Charmaine. And Charmaine's gone, loses her grip and with it any chance of scoring. And Lightning bent over backwards to secure that win. And Charmaine pondering her net loss. Truly intimidating performance from Lightning. Face it, folks. If Lightning was crawling all over you like that, wouldn't you give in? I think so. Well, Charmaine, you must be very disappointed indeed with that. Yes, I slipped there and it was a really bad mistake, but... And she made it easy work for you, certainly. When I got my left foot stuck at the beginning, I thought, oh no, come on, get a grip. But because uh, I really wanted to give Jackie a few more points, head start, no offence, for the eliminator. And uh, I was ready, so I'm just glad that I won, but I'm sorry that you lost. <laughs> Let's hear it for Lightning and for Charmaine. Never mind. Lightning has clearly come to do the business. Let's hope the others follow her example. After one event, Jackie five, Charmaine zero. So we now move into the men's event with Mark. And he's going to be facing Jackal. Mark Martram of the UK has gone on to great things since he appeared on GLAD. Yeah, since winning Gladiators last year, I, um, I got my ticket as a stuntman, which you probably remember I was a plumber, and now I'm sort of on the, the British stunt register. I've um, been in a couple of films. Um, I've worked on Tomorrow Never Dies, which is out now, and uh, The Avengers. I was doing sort of stair falls and explosions, getting shot, fight routines and stuff like that. Quite exciting, a little bit different to plumbing. Three, two, one! And 
we don't want him plumbing the depths of that net within the next 60 seconds. Mark determined that this will not be the day of the Jackal. Watching for the South African gladiator before making his move. Here comes Jackal from the top right. Mark sets off to stay out of harm's way. Jackal very fast for a big fella. Mark has faced James Bond villains and John Steed's foes in his film career, but now he needs to hide from the Jackal. Mark goes high, Jackal has lost his impetus, the danger has diminished for Mark, he's in the clear for the moment, and the Mottram masses want Mark to make a jackass of the Jackal, seems to be making a pretty good job of it by himself right now. Mark secures five points for the UK and he's looking good for the ten. Jackal out of the frame at the moment, Mark catching his breath to see where the trouble lies. Oh, Jackal overhead and the Jackal jacks it in! <laughs> the Mottrams are delighted. Well, Jackal knew his time was limited, but not as limited as his ability to hang on with his feet. Mark that one down to the UK. Next up on the pendulum, it's Patrick! And he's going to be facing Ace! Patrick Drymini's confident. Here's what he said earlier. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, I've got, uh, I believe that I've got the proper training for it. And uh, people here in, in England have been so helpful to us, to help us to train with the game. So I'm definitely looking forward to do it for my country and all the kids there in South Africa. Three, two, one! We've already had a demonstration of Patrick's control over a soccer ball. Let's see how he fares with a bigger sphere. Ace, a seasoned pendulum expert, high in the rankings and high on the globe right now. Patrick sticking with the middle ground. Ace almost on his case, Patrick looking for the lower segments to keep his flag on his back. Those flags are safer than Patrick's at the moment. Ace is getting down to work, Patrick's pennant is flapping in the breeze, begging to be taken. Ace is poised, oh he strikes, gets the job done in 26 seconds. And the South Africans devastated. Ace was never going to miss this opportunity, adjusts his grip, leans down, lifts the points clean away. Oh Patrick. I was anticipating you were going to be a lot quicker than that, but uh, he was right behind you. Uh, what happened? I made the wrong decision of trying to go under the pendulum, so I should have made that one, so that's where it really caught me. Of course, if you'd got to the bottom of the pendulum, that's also the toughest place to hang around. Yeah, with these big guys, I mean, I think that's the best way to go. That's what I thought, so it didn't work my way. Wrong on this occasion, but plenty more events, of course, and I'm afraid you weren't long enough up there to pick up any points. And Ace, terrific. You must be absolutely delighted with your performance. I absolutely love that game. I climbed over the top and I saw him. He was going so quick, I started to doubt whether I'd catch him. But he made the fatal mistake of going under, and that's my territory. Well, it only took 26 seconds, so there you go. Let's hear it for Patrick, never mind, and for Ace. One event gone, Mark has 10, Patrick nil. Fancy a quick 